Right guys, let's get some rehousing done here at the Black Widow's Lair. Uh, lots and lots of spider shop unboxing uh, things that I need to rehouse now. And we are going to start off by moving my Cobalt Blue into a large fawn area and then using the Cobalt Blue's enclosure for my millipedes. So let's get that done. <laughs> house my male and female rhino beetle I don't know if this is an appropriate setup I've done a little bit of research and I know that this substrate is perfect for it I just need to double check that they would like to use hides and these bark bits anybody got any um, you know uh, advice for me do let me know so let's get into this I can't remember which is which if this is male or a female I can't remember which symbols which so do um, do figure that out for yourself. I think this one might actually be female. So let's just do that. Oh dear. Oh dear, it looks like the female has died. Which is a real shame. But, you know guys, it does happen. And obviously I will message the spider shop and just... Let them know. Yeah, I mean, she's, she's definitely not alive. I'm not sure how these guys molt, but I don't think she's molting. So I will leave her in here just in case, but I don't think she's molting to be fair. going to go ahead and try and, and house the um, flower beetles they're quite large and I believe this one is the male and you will be able to see he keeps trying to put he's been pushing the lid off and he's trying to get out so we are gonna we are gonna let him out see <laughs> so let's let him out Wow, he is a beaut, he is a beauty, an absolute beauty. Let's just put the lid on so he doesn't try and come running out. While I get the female okay, out. So let's get the female out. He's not nearly as active as he is, but I've seen some movement. She is alive. Yeah, lovely. So, that is my male and female flower beetles. They're massive and they are gorgeous. Again, let me know about this setup and uh, what you think of it and what you think I could do to improve it. Okay, so now we're gonna do my um, spotted, uh, my spotted flower beetles. And this one is literally, wow, look at how pretty that is, if I can get it to focus. Okay, so let's look at that, that. Who would, who, I mean, I'm not being funny, but that mother nature can create an insect that looks like that. Come on then. Um, let's get my tweezers just to pop the pull this little one out. This is also a male and female. Wow, there we 
go welcome to your new home and I believe that was the female and I believe this next one is the male he's right at the top as well eager beaver to come out so let's Let's have a look at this one. Come on. Wow. Oh, and straight for the... <laughs> they were hungry. What are they doing? I don't know if that's mating or if that's aggression. I really hope that's mating and not aggression. Or if they're fighting for food. Kind of looks like mating. From the back end, it definitely looks like mating. I can't really show you, but there's some parts touching. Yeah, okay, I think that's mating. Wow, that was, that was pretty quick. <laughs> and she's just casually eating her food. So yeah. Now, I don't want to be perverted, and I have never seen beetles breeding, but I'm pretty certain that that is his penis. I don't really know what you would call a beetle willy, <laughs> but he's definitely uh, getting some sexy time right now. So let's just go ahead and leave them to it. 